are just a few things on the daily to-do list of the Utilities Department. We are here to make sure you have the best quality water you can drink. We make sure that your sewage goes away. We make sure you're safe from floods. Uh, we want to make sure that your buildings are very safe and habitable. And uh, that is our main purpose here. It takes five divisions to accomplish all that and more. Water, wastewater, stormwater, building inspection, and fleet. Our water bills are produced by the folks in the water division, but that's just a small part of what they do. Employees in the water division make sure we have excellent drinking water, as well as water for fire hydrants, and irrigation for yards, schools, golf courses, and more. We produce over five billion gallons of water a year, and what's really interesting is that typically our winter flows are between eight and nine million gallons a day, and our summer flows can get as high as 42 million gallons a day. Arvada has two water treatment plants. The Ralston plant at Highway 93 and 68th Avenue runs 24-7 year-round, while the Arvada water treatment plant near the Arvada Reservoir helps during the peak summer season. Once treated, there's still more work ahead, including regular maintenance of pipes and hydrants and flushing the water system. We work diligently every day. We're kind of a forgotten utility. We just want you to be able to turn on the spigot, cook supper, water your vegetable garden, and not have to worry about it. The wastewater division collects used water from our homes and businesses. We take it from the collection point all the way down to the Metro Wastewater Plant, which is the regional water treatment plant for this area. To get the job done, they maintain 400 miles of wastewater lines. Each line is jet cleaned to make sure that the sewage flows through it properly and doesn't uh, cause any backups in the main lines. We also TV these lines once approximately every five or six years just to make sure that they're in good condition. Now that one there does not have a good connection to the city main. Our stormwater department actually has a couple of different roles. One is to build flood control projects to uh, keep everyone safe and to protect property. A perfect example, the Garrison Street Ralston Fields Park project that took 100 homes out of the floodplain and prevented a lot of damage during the September 2013 floods. We also have a very important water quality control feature where we're trying to clean up the rivers and lakes that run through Arvada. To that end, the division also runs public awareness programs such as Adopt-A-Street and Stencil-A-Drain to remind us to be careful about what we let flow into our streams. The safety of our structures, where we live, work and play, lands with the Building Inspection Division and covers everything from fences and furnaces to new construction. Any year we probably issue close to 8,000 building permits of all types and probably do about 20,000 inspections. 2013 has been an especially busy year with new construction. This year looks like we could be pushing close to 600 and that's, that will be high for our Vada. So many people think often that a building permit is for red tape or just for revenues and I want them to understand that we're in it for the safety of the people. Last but not least, the Fleet Division, which maintains 600 vehicles and 400 pieces of motorized equipment. These range from police department's work, snow plowing, the work they do for the utilities department, the specialized equipment that we all need. They take care of it all, they maintain it all, they help us buy it in the beginning, and they help us dispose of it at the very end. That includes specialized outfitting of 15 new police cars each year and stripping those being retired and auctioned off. A police car has a lifespan of only about three, three and a half years because of all the miles that are put on it. And then there's one more thing that fleet does. Well, a surprising thing about our fleet is we also do a bunch of armory work for the police department. A couple of our staff members are certified armorers. They take the weapons that the police use, they calibrate, they fix them, they make sure that they're working properly and then return them to the police officers. It saves quite a bit of money in having an outside firm do it for us. All in all, the utilities department boils down to skilled and talented people who care. I'm very proud of the workforce, the people that I work with. The staff members here are very dedicated to their job and they're very dedicated to helping the citizens.